Mastering the Art of Anticipation in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase that you might have heard or want to use. I'm anticipating. Understanding this phrase can add depth to your conversations and help you express your feelings about future events with more clarity. So, let's unravel the layers of anticipating together. When someone says, I'm anticipating, they're talking about looking forward to something that is going to happen. But it's not just about waiting. It's a mix of expectation and a bit of excitement or anxiety. It's like saying, I'm eagerly waiting for this, but with an added layer of emotion or thought about the future. Expectation versus reality. Anticipating isn't just about expecting something to happen. It's about thinking ahead to what that experience will be like. It's more proactive and involves being mentally prepared for what's coming, whether it's something good or potentially challenging. Emotional undertones. The phrase carries emotional weight. Depending on the context, I'm anticipating, can express excitement, anxiety, hope, or even fear. It reflects not just the thought process but also how you feel about the upcoming event. 1. Positive Anticipation I'm anticipating my friend's wedding next month. It's going to be so much fun. 2. Anxious Anticipation I'm anticipating the results of my job interview. I really hope I get the position. 3. Neutral Anticipation I'm anticipating the new regulations to take effect soon. It'll be interesting to see how things change. Be aware of the context. Your tone and the words that follow can change the meaning from positive to negative. Pair it with details. Explain why you're anticipating something to add more depth to your conversation. Mix it up. Use synonyms like looking forward to or eagerly awaiting to keep your language vibrant and engaging. I'm anticipating is a powerful phrase that can help you express your thoughts and feelings about the future with nuance and depth. Whether you're feeling excited, anxious, or just contemplatively waiting, this phrase can convey the complexity of your anticipation. We hope this exploration helps you use, I'm anticipating, more confidently in your conversations and writings. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about expressing your emotions and thoughts. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.